<clears throat> it's um, it's raining, if you haven't noticed, which is uh, great. Yeah, it's brilliant. None of that matters, however, because, ladies and gentlemen, update 15 is finally upon us. And the first clue to that is that I have 56 unspent skill points. D yeah. And that is because there are so many changes to this that everything in both talents and abilities has been reset. However, before we get to that, I just really quickly want to check this real quick, just in case there's something really cool. I want that. You know what? I'm gonna stop spending my shards because I really want to get those when they actually show up. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm just gonna start saving up. I think. But other than that, what I really wanted to show, I thought I saw something, is this that we made in the last episode. If you didn't watch the last episode, watch it because uh, ev everything in here got put in order, and I'm so happy with it. But anyway, so while we're down here in the cave, which I don't think I can sleep. Nope, definitely not. We are going to re, uh, re replace all of the abilities and take a look at all these talents because a lot has changed in here and I'm super excited for all of it. So I think we start with abilities with things that we definitely know that we need. So stuff like Vein Miner, current eight blocks, 16 is nice. So I think I'm gonna put two in that. I don't remember what I actually had before. I definitely had Nova because then I had Post and Nova, but I don't know if I want to put that uh, just yet. I do also have the ability to get Frost Nova, which is also cool. Um, definitely get Dash. I don't know like how high we had this, maybe like three. We could always change this later down the road. While Active Shell will give you heart and skin, giving you a chance to stun mobs when getting hit. Nah. Rejuvenation Totem creates a totem near you that heals all players in a radius per second. Mana cost is 40, duration is 45 seconds, and it heals 0.4 hearts in that time or per second? I don't know. I assume so, because the colors uh, re correspond to that. So, heals all players in radius per second. So, that is, after three, th after three seconds, you have 1.2 of a heart. So, half a heart after three seconds. And I'm just going to spec into heal. And I know that this was high, so I'm going to get it to, like, six. Don't know if I want to continue, um, because... The further up we go, currently it costs 25. I think we had it at like 8, so that would be 30 cars. So, yeah. Uh, also, definitely want to get this, obviously. And we have piercing. I think we had this at max. Definitely had that at max. Hunter has changed. Highlights all PUIs in a radius for a duration of time. PUIs include all chests, coins, altars, and objective points. I think I will take this. Even though it has 600 seconds in cooldown, that is quite a lot of time, I think I'm going to take it because it is very cool. So there we go. I did that. And we can... Nope. It's fully learned. No going back. Uh, tons of mob around you. Stonefall. Definitely want that. And we want damage reduction to be 100%. And if we went further, we would just increase the knockback and the duration, etc. Mana shield gives you a shield that redirects a percentage of incoming damage to your mana pool. But again, that's a toggle thing. Battle cry, I think this is new. Drain the essence of mobs around you, gathering battle cry stacks and release an amount of stacks, giving you bonus attack damage on your next direct on hit attack. That sounds cool. Storm arrows, shoot an arrow that creates a storm above upon impact, deals an amount of damage based on your ability power. Uh, don't think I'm gonna spec anything into farmer. We also have fireball and ice bolt dealing no no damage but chi but chilling mobs hit for a duration of time. I think this is cool. Summon a large glacial uh, blast that on impact explodes, chilling and potentially glacial imprisons mobs in a radius. For okay, I think I'm gonna take this actually. It's very very cheap on the mana side. Like still, even now it is still only two mana. <laughs> <laughs> we can get eight. We can get this to last quite a bit. And I'm definitely going to take this. This is going to increase the mana cost. But if I'm imagining if we have a large pack of mobs, this is going to be really useful. So we'll have to try that out. Um, yeah, we'll have to try that out. But before I spend any more, maybe just one. There we go. I want to take a look at talents. Speed has changed. Increases your movement speed by applying the speed effect permanently. Every level of the speed effect increases movement speed by 20%. And we can only... First of all, it is very expensive now. And we can only get it twice. Before, I think you could get it four times. And honestly, before, I, I only had it like 
two times because I feel like having it more than that would just become too much. So I'm gonna leave it there. I think I had a spot in haste. Definitely want to upgrade strength to the max. And I had some in sorcery and witchery, but I'm gonna save off on those because I wanna take a look at everything. Gain extra resistance while below 20% max health or gain extra damage while below 20% max health. I'm not gonna take, a, take that right now. Gain extra damage while below 20% max mana. That's kind of cool because I am sometimes quite below mana or gain extra healing efficiency while below 20% max mana. Oh, I cannot... Uh... Hmm, I feel like even though this would be really cool, I think damage is the one that I should go for. But again, I'll get back to it. Killing a mob grants a small chance of having their death cause your hunter senses to trigger, revealing all PYs and radius around the killed mob. This talent requires a level in hunter. Definitely need that. That's a one thing and this is brand new as well. So it works, to, works together with the hunter um, ability. Gain increased area of effect while being above uh, health. Nah. Gain extra mana regeneration when killing a mob. This effect can stack and last for a duration of time. Is it a chance or is it just gonna happen? I'm gonna take it once. Ooh, blazing is new, I think. Gain plus 2% movement speed when killing a mob. This effect can stack and last for a duration of time. We already have this and I'm pretty happy with how this is already, so let's move on. Gain lucky hit chance when killing a mob. Gain attack speed when killing a mob. Purists deal extra damage based on the amount of scrappy armor pieces you wear. So basically, the more scrappy armor I would have, the better the damage. I'm not going to do that because I barely wear any scrappy armor. So I'm pretty happy with what it is already. Uh, gives you a chance to not consume potion charge. Increase your ability power. Killing a stunned mob has a chance of causing an explosive reaction. Deal incre increased damage to a stunned mob. I don't think I stun mobs very often. Hitting a chilled mob has a chance of causing a frost nova to be cast around the target. If I start using those frost thingies, that's gonna be very relevant. Whereas this has a chance of causing them to get glacial imprisoned for three seconds. And if, and if hit again, they will shatter and die instantly. Ooh, I think frost nova would be cool though. Ooh, killing a mob affected by poison. Apply weakness to your targets while hitting them. Gain increased item quantity while being below 20% health. Gain increased item rarity while being below 20% health. Okay. I know that I had a lot in this one. And I think that I'm going to still put a lot in here. Um, throw power increases of your javelins. I'm just going to upgrade the, this to the max, I think, because I use the javelin a lot. I'm not really going to spec anything into lucky hit because I don't really have a lot of lucky hit in on my character. So I'm going to move on. Gain increased soul chance when killing a horde type mob. Gain increased damage against champions. Yes, please. Gain resistance against dungeon mobs. That's cool. Okay. I still have five unspent skill points. I've kind of tried splitting them everywhere. Um, I'm still very split between what stuff I should take when it comes to like these ones with the arrows. So guys, please let me know down below in the comments what you suggest I take. I should try and take some though. I'm not really int interested in these two. This would be cool. And I think I'm going to get this. And I'm also going to get Frost Nova as well. I'm not going to take this either because I don't really stun mobs again. I'm tempted to take this one, but if I am below 20% max health... Uh, okay, I thought this was the healing one. No, I'm going to take this. Gain extra damage while below max mana. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the max mana one. Or this one. But healing efficiency, I don't know if that means I'll like passively heal when below 20% max mana. I'm going to take damage. I love damage. And then I'm going to take Nova. And currently it's poison. I want to change it to Frost Nova. But that requires me to make a bottle of that thing. And I guess with the final one, uh, where do we put it? I think I'll put it in here. There we go. With that long session, I'm going to go to bed now. Oh dear me. Hello, phantoms. Okay, well, they'll die soon enough. Before we continue, I wish to try and change some stuff with this. Because I don't know what it is, but this is just not working the way I want it to. So I'm going to remove you, place you here instead, place this here, and maybe, maybe, see, it's not, why are you not connected? Why? 
Okay, I think it was connected. I just wasn't typing in the right stuff. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, I'm gonna hope that that is actually going to solve that problem. Uh, we will find out though. Now that is not the only new stuff that has happened in this update, because if we take a look at here, the quest overview, not only do we have all of these, but we also have all of this. Now this is where we got to in the last episode, and I said we're gonna take a look at all this stuff, but we now have all of this, which we need to go through as well. Before we do though, and while I remember, do we have any more uh, things here? I'm actually going to abandon this one, even though it is kind of good. I'm gonna go ahead and abandon that, and I'm gonna take this instead. Also, yeah, these things, they're basically now useless, I believe. So uh, that's the thing. And I'm having trouble remembering everything, I do apologize, and the patch notes has not yet been uh, published, so... <laughs> Remembering everything from the videos that I've watched is a challenge. I do think no matter what we do though, we will be needing another crystal to run. So I should probably craft this. Okay, tough feathers and clay. Need more clay and I also need more tough. I guess that's just tough. <laughs> uh, I'm not sorry. Aha, there we go. Honestly, it was a bit tough to actually find this. Oh, diamonds. I also now have the issue of getting back up because I didn't grab my warp stone, which I really always should. Whenever I grab my elytra, I should grab my, my, my warp stone. Also, apparently, some sort of zoom effect has been added to the C key, which I use to enable and disable my madness, so that's a bit disorientating. And I was thinking about which button to hotkey the, the frost shot thing. And I'm thinking R, because I don't really equip and unequip this slot anyway. So I think I need to do that. There we go. Ice bolt. I'll do R and then search for R key and swap item in offhand. And that should be that. Okay, let's try this thing, actually. Boom. Ooh. Okay, that was actually kind of sick. Not kind of. That was sick. It was awesome. Ow. All right. Tough. There we go, enable that, okay, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, can't stand that much longer. Zoom, oh, that is just weird, because, oh, zoom, there we go, key, and then magnet, turn on and off, there we go, magnet on, off, zoom, okay, good. Uh, I need my repair cores, where would they be located, there we go, do I not have more repair cores? Ooh, that is troubling, I mean, they're... Yeah, I wouldn't say easy to make, but I mean, actually, I think they're okay to make. Okay, that could be a lot worse. I'm just gonna go ahead and repair this thing right here. And boom. All right. Now, let's take a look at these quests. Okay, before we actually go ahead and get started with the cards here and the quests in general, there is one thing that I really wish to fix, which is uh, this thing. Ow, that, there's a campfire there. That, that hurts. But yeah, this thing right here has all of my uh, non vault Hunters related items. And every time I relock in the world, it's no longer connected to this network. And I am hoping that I have enough storage here that I can simply transfer everything from this to that without using all of the uh, it item slots inside of the drives here. That is my hope. However, we're gonna see how well that actually goes. So I'm gonna have to do this manually. I could break it. Actually, I could break. Ooh, that might be fun. That might be scary, but it might be fun. All right, magnet switched on. <laughs> yep, that's um, that's gonna be a thing. And I can let the items actually follow me, which means that this is gonna be a much easier and quicker process. And it is. Starting to slow down with the lag a little bit, maybe. And I think we're out of storage. <laughs> well, uh-oh. Okay. Uh, I think, yes. Okay, so I have this. I can go ahead and drop you. I can take you. And I can go ahead and place this back. And now I can put this stuff back in here. Okay, so we do need... Oh, dear me. <laughs> we do need a little bit more disk space, apparently. I also have way too many items of certain things, one could potentially say. I. It's so easy to hoard stuff in this game. It is... <laughs> it's too much. Okay, good. Uh, that took a lot of toll on my magnet, but okay. 
Right, we currently have 4K storage disks. I need to probably think about making a couple of 16K or 64K if I can. Yeah, so chromatic steel. Uh, maybe I can only go ahead and make one case. Uh, do I have, I have zero black steel, black uh, chromatic steel. I have barely any um, carbon. Oh dear, I have no carbon at all. Uh, okay then, situation is not looking ideal. I can make 35 refined carbon in total, uh, which I then need to uh, chromatic iron. So I then need to make like this. And the reason why that stopped is purely because I ran out of this. And boom, 15. So 21. So I can make some 4K storage ones, but I don't think I can actually go ahead and make a 16K because I need... No, I, I actually don't have the resources to make those, so I just need to make more 4K ones. Ooh, glazed vault rock. I'm gonna save my points though. I'm gonna save my points for other potential things. Alrighty then, 1K storage. I'm gonna go ahead and take like a stack of that out so I can put a stack of this. That's not, okay, maybe that doesn't work like that. Okay, I'm gonna make, so for every 4K I need three, so that is one, two, three. Uh, put you there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, it uses. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> right. And then I need a little bit of this. So that's one, two, and three. And that is all my chromatic iron. And I need chromatic iron for this. I messed up. <laughs> I messed up big time. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Well, you know. The, um, th there's really only one solution here, and that is to not uh, stop using this thing, even though I really wanted to. I don't know why this doesn't work. I guess there's an incompatibility uh, thing with, between that chest and this system, because this works fine. So I guess it is what it is. I will be making those later. Well, that was a bit of a side quest, and now I can actually go ahead and sleep on this. Okay, back to the exciting stuff. We do have this, choosing your own objective. We will take a look at that later. I want to get to cards because this is cool. This is brand new. Another new feature introduced at level 50 is cards. They come in all different colors and variants. You obtain them by finding booster packs in your completion crate or very rarely in your black market. Stat Pack. This pack provides you with stat cards. They improve stats depending on their tier and any requirements. The resource pack, this pack provides you with resource cards. These cards add resources to your completion crate every time you fulfill their requirement. Mix pack provides you with a random set of cards. Arcane pack provides you with arcane cards. These cards are especially powerful as they improve existing ability levels. Temporal pack provides you with temporal cards. Temporal cards are some of the most powerful cards out there. These cards randomly play legendary modifiers in your vault. Wild cards is the perfect utility card. With these cards, you can make card combinations a lot easier. Evolution pack, this pack provides you with evolution cards. These cards are uh, similar in function to stat cards, but become more powerful if placed as spots in your deck. Some of these packs also have mega packs or shiny packs. All you got to get them, you got to get them all. Okay, so I need to obtain a booster pack. So I think basically what I need to do is um, complete a vault, essentially. <laughs> Which I guess leads us on to uh, this, choosing your own objective. We have done this before. I mean, I already have, boom, there we go. Uh, that gives us a new seal. Um, but I don't know if we've actually done this yet. Craft an elixir seal, brazier, scavenger, bingo, and hunt the guardian. Uh, I mean, I like elixir. I already have an elixir seal. So, and I get another one. So, I mean, that's cool. So, I guess we'll run that. Um, I think I already have, yeah, I already have a brazier in here, so I can put that in there. And then I need to craft a scavenger seal, bingo, and bingo. Applies the bingo objective to a crystal to craft a, uh, the bingo objective requires you to execute tasks on the bingo board and try to get a line completed. <gasps> I, wa I, I want this. I mean, today, see, uh, 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 there we go. I want this. I mean, today we are focusing on the new update, so I, I, I want to, I, I need this. <laughs> Okay, perfect Alexandrite. So that is four of you. Uh, I hate seeing those red ones. It pains me to see it, but it is what it is. Um, do I not have a soul torch? I do now have a soul torch though. There we go. I keep forgetting that I don't need to grab stuff from this in order to use it in there. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay, 
So I now have two of these, which is awesome. Uh, I can go ahead and dump this in here. Maybe I need to vault, uh, void some of this stuff. I mean, vault stone, do I need that much? No, I don't do I need that much of this. That's already being voided, but yeah, I may, maybe I need more drawers. More drawers might be the solution for this. Anyway, let's take this. Bing, and then we go in here and ka-ching, and we have the objective a bingo. Uh, so we're running a new vault type, and we are also hoping to complete it. This could be a challenge. Uh, we are hoping to complete it, and also we are hoping to be able to um, yeah complete it so we can get some uh, booster stuff. Uh, I'm gonna bring my extra magnet because my current one is having a rough time and I'm gonna bring an orange. I like to have this stuff with us. Uh, how much coins do we have? 183. I believe I already have some gold on me and it will cost 109 to buy me back so really I shouldn't die. This also shouldn't have an effect anymore uh, if I've understood everything correctly. There's an extra magnet in here but that's level 16. <laughs> uh, okay I don't actually have a trinket, so I completely didn't realize I had this actually. Plus one to all learned abilities. I mean, sure, let's go, let's do this. Entered bingo vault, okay. Um, I don't know how to do this. I don't know if there's a keybind for something like open bingo tab. Okay, so I go here and then I go tab. Focus grid search bar, don't need that, don't need that. Uh, ooh, that's vein miner. Uh, can I use you? No. You know what, it is fine. I'm not gonna use it while using vein miner. Okay, so. Oh dear. Okay, so I can use scroll wheel to select which one I want to focus on. I can also do diagonally and I can also do it like this. Oh, okay. Loot wooden, free villager, loot living, discover omega rooms, mine wall doors, loot gilded, kill nine tanks. I mean, honestly, this one seems like a fairly easy one to do. So I think I'm gonna focus on that one. Uh, and then I suppose that things are gonna get slowly filled up as we go and we'll see what's actually gonna happen here. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but this down here, it um, it, it didn't say 25 uh, minutes and 30 seconds anymore. So yeah, that is now gone. Uh, okay, I need to get back into the groove of things. We're gonna go down here because this actually have what we need. And I need to remember that I have my, um, what's it called? My freeze thing which is really cool. <laughs> so I need to find a lot of gilded. I need to find a lot of, eh, not a lot, would you not? Like just freeze. Oh, I, I'm gonna use that so much, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, that would be an issue. Actually, that is an issue, hold on. I guess I'll do caps lock. Okay, this should count as a tank, right? Yes, okay, this is gonna be f not super easy, but fairly easy, I feel. Um, please don't. And there we go, that is two out of nine, and not. Ooh, gilded, perfect. The vault ores could be a challenge though, but if we find a vault room, dedicated vault room, a uh, uh, vault or or room, then uh, this shouldn't be an issue much. Ooh, sick. Oh, I love this effect so much. Now remember, I'm trying to actually complete, oops. I'm trying to actually complete this vault, so I need to focus on the actual objective as much as I can, while also at the same time, Ooh, sick. While also at the same time uh, getting carbon. I really, really want more carbon. I need more carbon. So the wooden chests are going to be quite important still. We do have vault doors here though, so that's nice. Uh, completed a kill hordes. So it marks when you actually complete one. That's actually sick. That's very helpful. And it shows you which ones on the grid you've actually completed. So that was just one POI and that was like, um, like one sixth of the way there. So that's pretty cool. How much does this actually cost? Around 10, but honestly, I'd say that is worth it. Okay, vendor room. I wonder if these can have packs, card packs. This one didn't have any, but I wonder if it's something that they can actually have. More gilded over here, brilliant. Oh, there's a lot here. Does these count? These do count, that's great. And I'm now over halfway there with the gilded chests. And some more ores over here too. I think if I can find some sort of ore room, I'm gonna be set. And ice, and then get out of there, get with you. Now I'm definitely convinced that I want to change my poison nova into frost nova. Is it just me or is javelin more, okay, this was not a good showcase, but is it just me or is javelin more powerful? Or is it because I've specced it differently somehow? I don't know. It just feels stronger somehow. It's interesting, the one time I want tanks, I'm getting, not getting, I don't get tanks. <laughs> 
why it always be like that? Ooh, no mind. I take it back. What if I use that on you? That's gonna slow you down even more. So that's great use for champions as well. I'm actually starting to doubt whether or not I will be able to complete this one. Boom. Oh yeah. Just three more gilded chests and a couple more living chests and a few more tanks. Then that part is done. And then it's just about finding some place with ores. And boom. And boom. And I'm in a corner. Not good. Ooh, went the room. Quick check for potential cards or some other really good deal. Nice living chests. Very hidden room as well. Oh, the hunter just kicked in. Wait, do we have gilded over there and living? Nice. Not gilded. Uh, where's the other? Yes, gilded. We have gilded over there. Oh, nice. Okay. I should have probably run into the next room to actually see more. I don't know how long this lasts for. Uh, what's that? That is... Uh, we have gilded over here. Not living. What even is that? I'm scared to right click it because I don't know what that is. <laughs> and there we go. Loot has been done. What happens? Can I mine it? I guess I hit this when like the um, the thing is complete. I mean, I guess that would make sense. Okay, I'm gonna mark here. There we go. Leading upwards. Okay, I really need to find an all room. Need to find a lot more living. Oh boy. Ooh, all room actually this. Sick. And one more tank. Awesome. And it is done. Considering that this is an ore room, the ores should be done momentarily as well. Either way, I see an echo gem. Only got one from that though, unfortunately. But it was there. And it was awesome. Ooh, champion. Ow. Whoa. Hello, fellas. Right. That was uh, not cool. That just hit. Okay, getting that hunter is... I heard the sound of the... Okay, there's a thing there. Okay, I guess nothing else in this room because it's ores, obviously. What's that? Impossible. Yeah, not doing that. Unless it's living and I can... Nope, it's ornate. Okay, never mind. Okay, missing like 12 hours. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. Nope, that's the way back. It's gonna be seriously, seriously close. I mean, I'm gonna jump past anything that is not living chess or ores at this point. Living chess, bought it. So we'll take up this fight. There's only two chests, unfortunately. A couple more. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna execute. I don't know how to execute that. Right, this. And I'm gonna run because I need to find living. So green clusters over here. There's gonna be three here. Awesome. I should have probably checked the next room as well because three is not gonna cut it. Fairly certain I saw something else green down here as well, though. But I don't think that's been a living chest. That has been everything else. Do need ores though. Nope. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, not enough, but progress. No way. This is great. This is a great find. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I can't loot this. I, I just can't. I just can't. I have an objective. Uh, if I can make the objective, then I can come back for that. That is such a good find though. Okay, need to remember this, that it's here. Need living chest, need living, 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 living. That's gilded. I mean, I have an orange if I need it. Oh, gilded. I'm getting everything that I don't need. That's a slim chance. That's a very, very slim chance that I'm actually gonna get this. Oh, hello. Uh, I mean, this is great because that means... Actually, this is, uh, this is awesome. I can't loot all of it, but I can get the ores that I need to complete this, which is you and then you. I'm, I, I need just... I just need the one chest. <laughs> just one living chest, please. One living chest. Come on. One living chest somewhere. Don't care what it's gated behind. Almost. Don't care what I have to do to get it. Can't see in there. Coins. Okay. Nice. Here, killed again. <laughs> this vault would have been great if I had been needing a lot of gilded, but I don't. And so it's not ideal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Please. I need one gilded. I need one. Not gilded. <laughs> Champion. I don't have time for you. <gasps> Living. Wait, I need to pick something up. Sounded like something got dropped. Uh, Don't know. I think I got it, though. So now what I can do is I have three minutes left. I need to find one of those obelisk thingies, which I know where one is, because I marked it. So I need to go back here. I will use an orange if needed. I even think there might be one in this room, but I could be wrong, so I'm gonna go to where I know there is one for a fact, which is in this direction. 
It pains me to run through this room without getting any more ores, but I want to complete this and I don't want to use 109 gold because I wasn't smart enough to go back to where I know I could get that, get home. So yeah, that's that. There it is. And it's active. I could run back and get that gilded thing, but I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I, even, even if I ate an orange, I would like get a minute of looting time, which honestly that might have been worth it. Well, okay, 34,000 volt XP, chest looted, 316 mobs on alive. We did it, we got the bingo great. And hopefully we have actually gotten what we need. First though, let me, uh, the chest is added, so I should be able to do that. A couple of vault gear pieces we can take a look at. Nope, nope, and nope. And we have some jewels of which we just empty and we go down this elevator and we just go ahead oh what do we need what do we have trap disarm chance we have some reach over here picking can go to here item quantities over here then trap another trap disarm chances here and then we have item quantity and mining speed i guess that would go to mining speed actually yeah there we go see organized and i love it and what am i gonna use this unspent skill point on can i upgrade this further I can actually. I really love the ice bolt. All right, what do we have here? Anything of value? I mean, all of it is uh, of value. 162 carbon though, that is really what I want to get uh, my hands on. But while that is emptying, let's take a look at this. Three key pieces. Hold up. That means we have nine in total. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, I can make a blank key after I've made this, which requires black. <clears throat> we have parts of a new key, okay? <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and go ahead and make all of this. So that's 18, which means a chromatic steel can be made. So we have nine, which means I can make three of these, which means I can make one, two, three 4K storage disks. I really need to think about this though. I am gonna need to do a lot of managing because I now have these. Actually question. Actually, you guys let me know down below in the comments. Can you add more disk drive blocks to the thing? Like, is that doable? Could I have another one here hooked up to the network where I have 30K drives? Maybe another uh, another one of these with 64. Let me know down below in the comments because uh, it would be kind of cool. But yeah, we got an echo gem, a bunch of other gems, a good amount of knowledge. Speaking of knowledge, by the way, in research, if we take a look here, there may be other things that have changed, but we now have two new things. We have thermal dynamos, which is another way of making power. So that has been added to this, which is cool. Uh, and then down here, we have the phytonic, phytonic, phytonic insulator, which is actually kind of cool because it's a way of making items from other things. So like bone meal and then like, uh, yeah, bone meal. And we basically have a tree farm going. We can farm this stuff. It's a way of getting more materials that we could potentially be getting uh, from this thing, which by the way, I do want to take a quick look at what the next recipe is. Yeah, that's easy enough. All right, let us go ahead and get rid of this, disable the magnet and open this up. That is, that, is, that it, I didn't know we would get that, but okay. Uh, looks good overall, let's take it and let's take a look. Cards and obtain card deck. I didn't know we would get this. Maybe that is new, I don't know. And a perfect jewel, vanilla immortality, unrealistically, copiously and durability. I don't even know where to put this. Uh, brrr, coat, item rarity, I guess. I actually don't know. I'm gonna put it there for now. And here we go, cards. Another, uh, I think, yeah, we read all this. Obtain a booster pack, which we did. So we now have two booster packs. And then this, obtain a card deck. Now that you have some cards, you might want somewhere to put them. We haven't opened them, we're opening them soon. Thankfully, we've thought of something. Introducing the card deck. This handy item lets you bring cards into the vault and benefit from the special effects. They come in all shapes and sizes, so keep at a lookout and you might just find one randomly. Some cards might have special requirements before they work, however, uh, hover over them in the deck to see which cards are affecting your card. The first deck is called Starter in GEI, craft a card deck. We already did and we got a mixed mixer, mixed booster pack. So this is our a double deck. Uh, right, what we were, what we could make is this. I don't know what a double deck does. It does sound a little bit advanced. So I think we might actually go ahead and make this anyway, um, because I think that's gonna be nicer for us right now anyway. 
because this is what it expects us to make. So let's keep both, uh, see what happens here, because I have not opened these before. Stat booster pack and mix booster pack. Let's do stat, boom. Okay, scaling attack damage card, increased attack damage. I like that. They also have different colors, which I think is important as well. Soul chance and ability powder. P powder? <laughs> <laughs> ability power, ability power. I think I'm gonna take damage because I, oh, the graphics are sick. That's actually cool. Okay, we got attack damage. I'm really happy with that. Okay, increased armor, 1% increased armor, increased area of effect, item quantity. I think I'm gonna go for armor, you know. There we go, we have two cards now and we have a mixed, <clears throat> we have a mixed booster pack, which gives us type resource plus one carbon per seven living chest looted. Increased area of effect for each green diagonal evolution card. Okay, so that's a fancy one, which I don't think I have any green ones yet. Plus two mana. We do need carbon. We do need carbon, and I think I'm gonna go for it. Not just because that it is what I'm looking for right now, but because I think it's a, a genuinely good thing. Uh, so now that when we have this, uh, when we bring this pack with us into the vault, we will have 1% increased armor, 0.5% increased attack damage, and plus one carbon every seven living chest looted. This is sick. And we should be able to add it to this thing right there. How awesome is that? Again, I don't know what this double deck is, so I'm just gonna put it in there for now. Upgrading cards. You might wonder, what can I do with the cards that I don't like? Well, wait no more. It's using the card extractor. Any card you don't like can be ground down, grind down to its essence. A tier one card can be upgraded to tier two with 10 essence. Watch out though, the higher the tier, the more expensive the cost. In order to use the machine, it needs a redstone signal. The card on the left will be juiced into, ju juiced <laughs> into essence. This essence can then be used to upgrade the card on the right, card extractor. Well, this looks fancy. Uh, fairly cheap though, honestly. I mean, I don't have a use for it right now, but I will make it. Okay, dispenser and boom, card essence extractor. And this actually gives us in return, I believe, resource booster card. We like that. Ooh, plus one carbon per 20 mobs killed. So if I on average kill 300 mobs, is that fifth? I think that's 15 carbon, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take that. I'm definitely gonna take that, boom. Okay, and we have the card essence extractor. We're gonna place this huh, here, maybe. I don't feel like that does, whoa. I don't feel like that does it justice. Okay, this looks fancy and we're not gonna be able to use this for some time. Uh, okay, cool stuff. And now we're back to trash rooms. <laughs> oh man, I need carbon. What do I actually get carbon from? Ornate chests. Ornate chests and wooden chests, okay. I guess I just need to run a lot more vaults, I suppose. I suppose getting these done would be kind of cool. So make a hunter seal and guardian seal. There we go. That is seal of the hunter, which I apparently need to have in my inventory. There we go. And seal of the executioner. Just need a wooden sword for that one. And then boom, got that as well. So now we have all of these done. And I feel like maybe I need to add a chest with all the different seals already crafted, like the ones that I have ready anyway. So I guess I could have that over here. Boom, just like that. We can see, oh, we wanna run an elixir vault this time or hunter or executioner. We can do that. Okay, I am gonna try this one more time. I do probably not a good idea and probably a waste of my magnet, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So move very slowly, move very slowly, move very, very slowly. Very slowly. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Still a lot of items left. I mean, it's doing good so far. Wait, I just saw that I had gems in here. Huh. And that was that. Huh? Uh, where did I have a qu where I have a question? Where did everything go? Because these three that I just spent ages on crafting is not in use. These, however, are not full. I guess maybe I just used stuff and maybe some stuff got sorted better than before. Okay, well, I'm have I'm very happy because that means I can actually get rid of this stuff. Uh, get rid of you. I can use you for other things. Definitely don't hold tab when doing this because then the entire system will go down. Uh, this is awesome. I'm very happy actually I got rid of that because that was a being a pain. Use this 26 RF. We can use this chest wall for other stuff, I suppose. Yeah, that's the cobblestone. Vault cobble. 
why it said 12,000 before and I now have 5,000. Why is that? Where did it go? I feel like somehow that I lost something even though I haven't, but I have the torch. I, I guess it's fine. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm not gonna complain because I'm now finally done with this. And finally fill this hole out and be done with it. I wish it had worked better together those two, but oh well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next one, we need to run even more vaults. I really want to make a treasure room. I need more carbon, first of all, so that I can make that key, which is awesome. I can make, uh, how many knowledge stars? We can, we can, we can, we can do the three, and I think I have like one in here, so that's four. Probably getting close to where we can run another, not run, unlock another mod potentially. Um, but yeah, things are looking up and I am very excited for it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Much more to come. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, name that sheep in the comments and have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh man, that, that, that run was actually a little bit stressful. But seriously, give a name to that sheep. Anyway, have a good one. Goodbye.